Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and some of you might find this helpful. When I first started doing Corel, if I wanted to rotate it, I'd always have to move this to that node, and then I would rotate it 30 degrees and, you know, make a duplicate and rotate it 60 degrees and then go all the way around. And then the more I started using Corel, I started using the transform or transformation docker. So we're going to put our object origin back in the center. And I'm just going to go to Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation. And you can see the object origin is from the center. I've got a 30 degree angle and I've got 12 of them. Well, this is what's going to happen if you do that. So I would always beforehand would run this down to here. Well, if you look right here, that's what Corel's doing for you. So you don't have to do that. You can do this and it'll put it in the center. Now you can even play with this and put it to one side and you get a total different object. That's pretty cool. So use the transformation or transfer, transform tool, the rotation, and just put in your, and really we only need 11 because I've already got one. Uh, you always got to think about, it doesn't really hurt to have two, but if you're doing cut lines, and you put, uh, well, let me just back up here. Let's say if you're going to try to cut that out. And you do this with 12, because that's what you needed, but you've already got. So whenever Corel says a copy, you got to consider your first one. So if you look, there's two of these. So it's going to cut that guy out twice. So always think about doing 11 or one less than you need, and then you only have that one because it just made 11 copies around there. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.